My name is Mika Tarus. I'm 28 years old. I'm a coffee farmer and this is my farm. I've been a farmer for more than four years and all those years we've been facing some effects brought about by this climate change issue. And these are some of the effects we're facing. Like my cabbages here have been affected by too much cold, which has thus uh, brought a um, flight which has affected my cabbages. And this all is because of low temperatures. This maize uh, really pent because of uh, recent storms that came. And due to that, uh, my maize have been affected by pests and they are also rotting. So this has aff will affect my yields, of course. As you can see here, due to climate change, we have been receiving too much rain. Like, this leaves has been damaged by hailstones. Uh, this is really affecting our crops. And this is what we didn't expect. But due to this climate change, these are some of the setbacks that we're going through. I would like to mention about the COVID-19 uh, that has really been affecting us. This is because we're facing some rough time traveling far because these healthy care systems are far from here. Our road networks are really bad, in bad condition. Like this season, it's been raining so much and the roads are too muddy. And it's a long distance. You travel a very long distance from your farm to the road networks to access the markets also. So that's the effects that we're facing. We're trying to do something like mitigation or adapting to this climate change. We are trying to adjust it to the situation that we are. And that's why you can see I have planted trees in my farm. I've got many trees here. I'm trying to create some shade so that I can control the climate that I need. Federal brought to us uh, the idea of vertical garden that we are moving from our ordinary way of doing things, uh, improvising to vertical garden whereby we can be able to manage or move on with life of producing vegetables uh, with ease. It's not like before, because as you can see here, this vertical garden, I'm able to manage that little water. I can be able to use a little amount of manure. I would like to say that I've been advantaged uh, because my consumers are just coming here to buy my stuff. And that's what I'm happy about. When someone demands big volume, then I go for them. But for now, I've been selling from my farm. I can also do things like strawberries. I'm doing fruits. Uh, and all these happen because of the project that Fiat brought to us through Climate Change Academy. 